Welcome gamers to Super Beard Bowl Season 2. Each month, we're doing an all-new 8-episode series complete with a beginning and an end as voted on by you, our loyal viewers. Without paying a single penny, everyone who watches will be able to vote on one of four show ideas, and once you narrow it down from four to two, the Beard Bowl Patreon tier will then choose between the top two for which show gets made into a full eight-episode series. This month, the winning series is... Well, we just we just picked a bunch of games we like to relax to. And uh, we're going to play those games and answer questions from you guys. <clears throat> just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Bazoing, bazoing, oh, bazoing. Nope. We fucked up. We fucked up. <laughs> well, at least that we have worst. we have really good like stage <laughs> instincts. They're really right. honed on the same timings at the very Knowing least. Knowing when it was time. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. let's try it again. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Super Beard Bowl Comfort Games. We're here. Out here. Brett, Gerard, mm -hmm. myself. Ted is even here. He's got questions Whoa. for us. We got games to chill out. And Brett, what the fuck are we playing today? This is uh, this Tony Hawk 1 and 2, that remaster. Remember that came out, everybody? It was pretty fucking good. Literally, I keep forgetting it comes out. I It looks great. I, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, I played this game for a good amount of time, probably like for the exact same reason that I used to play it back in the day. Like, I didn't play this game to comfort me, but this was one of the few games that like, the other one, okay. There was like a few games I used to play back in the day to not to comfort myself, but I would do it because it would I would zone out. Yeah, like I would do it while I was on the phone with friends. You know what I mean? That's exactly uh, the vibe. Yeah. And uh, the other one was like, remember Spider-Man 2 for like the Xbox or whatever? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just swing around all day long. Very similar vibes for me in the Ultimate Spider-Man game. Uh, Sure. And uh, the other one was like the various Tony Hawk games at the time. For me, it was probably like three and four at the time. Uh, so it's what I'm doing here now. We're just zoning out, kind of doing our thing. So, you know, it's, uh, it's I, oh, the reason it sounds a little ghostly is because we don't want to get copyright claims. So we can't have any of the cool music. We yeah, wish we could. We're going to have our own music just because, uh, or different, you know, video game remixes, big, big bad bosses, just music that's not uh, that YouTube won't kill us for. <laughs> yeah. Right. Though this game has a sick ass soundtrack. It's it true, it does. Oh yeah, this is Marty McFly, by the way. That's why he looks the way he looks. Fuck! <laughs> Dude, this is fucking aw this looks incredible. It took me this long to realize what level this was. Really? Yeah. Dude, it's so good. Unbelievable. I get asked a lot why I haven't we completed this game yet, and the oh, answer yeah. is it's designed to never be completed. There's, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare to complete. There's like get to level this, 100. This version? Yeah. 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 It's it's rough. It's one of the it's one of the probably the hardest game to come out of 2020 to complete. That sucks, really? Yeah. It does yeah. Which like, great game, but if you're trying to like literally do it all, don't. Yeah, it's I'm wow. I'm 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 lucky that I released our new game plus before this was really announced. Um right. because if I said I was gonna do this version. I would never be done with New Game Plus. Yeah, fuck that. All right. Well, now that we're in the groove, uh, we're in the cut, if you will. That mm -hmm. tape is always in there in my mind. Uh, Ted, hit me with a quetchy. Okay. Joseph Zappia asks, for all who want to answer, what is a time period and location you would like to see a game explore? Oh. A movie, if easier. It could be any genre. Thank you and happy holidays. Uh, I talk about it all the time, so this is super easy for me to answer. Like, you probably know what I'm going to say. I, I need more video games that explore Judeo-Christian myth. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And like with 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 the type of irreverence that like God of War lends to it. You know what I mean? Mm. Like yeah. I'm not asking for a God of War clone. Yeah, I am. I kind of am. Like well, not really though, right? Like it's a it's more about like God of War in philosophy, right? Well, I I just wanna or, see or you just wanna kill God. <laughs> no, I don't wanna like kill fucking Yahweh and that shit, but like yeah. 
there's just so many cool ideas in Judeo-Christian myth, like, you know, like, the, the Jewish clay golems and the fucking shit demons from Golgotha. That's yeah. hardcore as shit, right? So, like, I would just love to see that kind of world. Like, I want to play around in that and do cool shit in that world. Uh, There's a lot of but, Japanese yeah. games that do it, but never, like, AAA, big-time Western games, ever. Yeah, the Japanese kind of do it, like, from the outside a little bit. Um, yeah, they don't have the, like, social pressure not to do it. <laughs> I would love to, yeah, I would love to see that shit. Man. You know what game was pretty good about that? Uh, was that game that we played, like, not that long ago? Mm. The Jesus uh, one? No. <laughs> yeah, Jesus <laughs> right. and the guys running around. No, right, right. Yeah, Jesus. What the hell was that called? Saviors? Saviors? Yeah, Saviors. No, uh, the one that we played that was, like, 2D, Dark Souls-y. It, like, wasn't really Judeo-Christian, but it just, like, had the vibe. Yeah, Blasphemous. That game was so cool. Oh, yeah, that one was real close to what I'm talking about. It had sure. the, like, angels, like, biblical description angels, like, the big scary, like, it's, it, it's, it's, it's haunting. It's a haunting video game. Yeah. A time period. What was it? A time period or genre? I think so, yeah. Or, uh, uh, time period and location. Time period and location. I was really excited for Horror of the Orient when I heard that was coming out. Can't imagine why that didn't make it onto store <laughs> shelves. Uh, the name like that. But uh, it was the sequel to L.A. Noir from Bondi. Uh, and it was supposed to be... And that's that's Team Bondi, not Bandai Namco. Uh, like Bondi Beach. Uh, they wanted to make a game that was like L.A. Noir, but like hard-boiled 80s, like, Hong Kong? Or something like that? And I'm like, Ooh, yeah. all about that. I would love to see that game still nice. happen. I also love, like, 1930s uh, colonialism, like, African colonialism. Huh. I think that's a great time period, like, the mummy. You mean, like, fucking pith helmets and shit? Yeah, like, the mummy. Like, it, like, there's not, like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. there was, there was that one game that came out, uh, like, a couple years ago that was, like, kind of, like, Left for Dead. Uh, that I can't remember the name of. Yeah, yeah we, we, we did a brand deal on it on Beer yeah. Bros. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was called like Strange something. That left game, for Mummy. Brigade? Yeah, left for, it literally something was like Brigade? Left for Mummy. What did you say, Tim? Yeah, Strange, Strange Brigade? Brigade. Yeah, that's Strange the one. Strange Brigade, that's the one. Mm. That was pretty That was pretty good, but I, I want to go beyond the mummy elements. You know what I mean? I want to go mm -hmm. to like, uh, I want to see like the jungle. I want to be able to explore temples. You know, like I'd love an Indiana Jones game type game set in the like in the in that time period realistically rather than like the, so it like, sounds like you want uncharted but like of that era i want like breath of the wild but that era i want like assassin's creed jungle cruise huh yeah. all right all right i think i would really love a grand theft auto type open world game uh -huh. but like in the setting of like the Roaring Twenties, or, or, <laughs> like... You want Mafia! What was that? You want Mafia! Oh, is ma is that the genre of Mafia? Is that the... I thought it was, like, modern day, no? It depends on uh, the game. Uh, yeah. yeah, I definitely know of at least one of those Mafia games that's, like... It's, it's like Harlem Nights and shit, you know? Yeah, oh, one, of them, one of them... The most recent one is, like, 60s New Orleans or something, which is a really yeah. cool... I, I, I think just, it's a great idea, though. Yeah, like Roaring Twenties GTA for sure. Like, like either Roaring Twenties or like, you know, London, circa World War One, like mm. Irish, like the Irish gangs of New York, like, uh, 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 uh. like, oh yeah, that would be fucking old, old New York and shit. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's. I've always loved Gangs of New York. I thought it was super underrated, despite how long it is, and uh, um, <laughs> I just love the idea. Great. Can't yeah, just prepare for a long, a long, a long film. Yeah, and a really, really weird ending. Uh, Very especially, weird ending. especially the music choice at the end. Oh yeah, that movie is like one hundred percent a like period piece movie, and then during the like last battle epic climactic scene, it's like a song written by Bono. It's so weird. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, yeah, like, it's it, it's <laughs> almost like they were like they put in the last minute a nine eleven tribute too. Yeah, yeah. It's just it like, like it's like it like nothing. takes you out of it. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I'm trying to think, like, what's an what's another game? Like, did you play uh, what's it called it all? Uh, Red Dead Two. I have not even touched it since we demoed it on Brief Bros. 
Yeah, uh, but I keep seeing the comments that people really want us to play it, Alex. Here's here's oh, the thing: like we man. can play it, we can play it or something. But maybe we need to just figure out like some ground rules, or like some sort of game within a game that we can do because. Like, I have been playing this game actively for, like, several years now, and I still haven't beaten it. Like, I, like we... It's, yeah, it's are you just, doing all the side quests and stuff? I am, and I'm playing it at my own pace, but, like, even the main story is epically long in that game. It's, like, twice as long as GTA, I feel like. But maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just misunderstanding because I've been playing it for so long. But, like, maybe it would be fun to, like, go do, like, hunt all the master beasts or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Wasn't well, a Rob Zombie track? Hunt all the master beasts. Yeah, yeah it's like hunt all the master beasts. <laughs> I, would, I would rock the shit out of it. He made oh, four God, movies about it. All them beasts. <laughs> Get all the beasties and all the beasties. Hunt all the beasts. White Zombie kind of rips though, dude. I like, I like, I like, kind of appreciate Rob Zombie's whole thing. I, I, I think I like love it actually. You mean, like, including the movies? House of a Thousand Corpses and stuff? Hilarious. Mm -hmm. I never need to see him again. But I <laughs> right, had a good time. Right. Halloween, That's same thing, thing. Like, Rob Zombie, the movie maker, I'll pass. But Rob Zombie, the music man, I'm like, I want to hear more. I get, yeah, I get what kind of, what his, what his aesthetic is that he's been chasing his whole life. And the movies were not a surprise uh, to that. Right, uh, right. But I, I thought they were hilarious, but I, I will never watch another one of them again. <laughs> They're so fucked up. Uh, all right. What's another quetchy? Uh, Canterbury Jonathan asks to everyone, "What is your worst supermarket experience? Where and what happened? Walmart, Target, huh. Costco, etc." Interesting. I I have a I know exactly what Hit this. It. I was 18 years old. I uh was the president of the Dance Dance Revolution video game club, because I made the club. And, uh, <laughs> we... <laughs> Wait, stop, stop. What? <laughs> That's just funny, I'm dealing with that. Oh, okay, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, in your high school? Like, a senior yeah. in high school? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Local Honest, chapter. Honestly, what I, what, what, I, what I wanted to do was I basically wanted... Me and my friends wanted a DDR machine, but the school wouldn't allow us to have an arcade. So what we did was uh, there was a company that manufactured these dance pads and uh, they were very expensive, but very good. And uh, we basically had a fundraiser to to get these pads, which didn't take very long. But afterwards, we were like, well, we should just keep the fundraiser thing a thing. So we just kept raising money every time we could just to like we donated to charity to homeless shelters just because like like a good club does. Yeah, just like we got, we got what we wanted, which was to play DDR whenever, whenever we wanted at school. And then after that, it was like let's just raise money for charity. So mm -hmm. um, we had just got our dance pads in, um, or no, we the dance pads were needed maintenance. Like they 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 we had some wear, wear and tear. And uh, I went to Home Depot to uh, get some uh, plywood and some screws to 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 like you know kind of. Make sure that the pads would the pads would stay firm when we played, and I just remember sitting there and I'm I'm just like listening on my MP3 player, my iPod, just like hanging out, waiting for you know me to go online. And there was a guy in front of me, like like a customer in front of me who snapped on me for no reason. Mm -hmm. Like he he was mad that I was like too close to him. That's what it was. I, I wasn't. So he's in front of you. Mm hmm. So he it, thinks you're breathing down his neck. Yeah, like I'm like I'm pushing him to move faster. Uh -huh. Oh my god! How old do you think this guy was? Uh, he was probably about fifty or sixty. Oh, okay. So he's um, like nowhere near your age. No. Yeah. He he was a, he was an older gentleman, and he needed um, a kid to yell at. Yeah. And he yelled at me for about five minutes at and and they called the manager, and I started crying. So I didn't know how else to react. Like I had no, oh, wow. Oh, wow. I, I started tearing up and crying and, and the guy had no remorse. Well, wait, slow like, down, slow down. Like, and I'm sure this is like hyperbole, but if somebody actually yelled at somebody for five minutes, they would have to cover a wide range of topics because five minutes is a long time. So what the fuck was he saying? He was just yelling about how like kids my age don't know respect in class and we don't know how to like respect our elders and how like we just want to go, go, go and how we push, we bully people around with like 
our our actions and our words and then like he started getting political and mind you this was when bush was president so like yeah he started talking about like how like 9 11 like just all the he just kept he was clearly like his mind was in a different place and i i cracked an egg on him i cracked his egg and he just like unfolded but i had no response to anything he, like, i couldn't say anything to him and the more i cried the more he yelled um, oh my god! And because I was embarrassed, you know, we're in the middle of Home Depot. There's dozens of people buying stuff, and I'm in line. There's a big line behind us, and it, the, it's hard the, to know what to do when a person who you can't like check is like yelling at you. Well, yeah, and and uh, so the manager comes over, and first off, they try to throw me out. They try and like throw me out of Home Depot because they think that I did something wrong without even listening to me or anyone. Oh, and liter and the people Jesus. behind me started yelling at the managers because they saw everything and they were like this kid did nothing and the guy just yet got got more loud and more aggressive and start, start yelling more and more and more and eventually um he uh the the guy grabbed me by the neck and tried to force me to leave home depot the and guys and the guy yelling at you yeah he grabbed me by the neck and what and was like fuck? and tried throwing me out and the well, minute so down so down so the, the manager tried to throw you out, but you didn't leave? Well, I, I didn't know what to do because everyone was screaming. It was like loud noise. It was almost like a, an audio bomb went off. Like everyone was just uh -huh. getting involved in the situation. And uh, the manager was going to like, they had security come over and like try and escort me out. And everyone, we we're still talking about it. And then the dude just like in the middle of the conversation grabbed me by my jacket and just like started walking me outside. And so I started going and uh, I, I was just crying more and more and more. And then my dad calls me right in the middle of all this because he was, I was supposed to meet him for lunch and I was behind. And I told him what happened. And my dad was in the parking lot nearby. And so he came over and the guy just started yelling more and more. And my dad, without hesitation, just punched him. Just, just clocked him. And the guy went down. And, and then it all stopped. Like, everything was quiet. Everything was fine. And the, the guy woke up. He apologized. And like <laughs> what? it was cra it was crazy. Was like, oh man, I don't know what happened. I got out of control there. Thank you. I'm sorry. Just, just well, look at my dad. You guys haven't seen my dad's hands. They're they're the size of of books. <laughs> like they're massive. And dad's my dad hands. one pun one punched him. And my dad, the thing is that it was scary because my dad didn't yell. He just like listened and watched everything, and then just bam, punched the guy right square in the nose. And my dad turned to me and he was like, "If you get into a fight." You aim for the nose. You aim for the eyes and the nose. Don't go for the jaw. Don't go for the teeth. You aim right in the nose. You break the nose, they can't see. And the guy, sure enough, like his nose wasn't broken, but like his eyes would not stop watering because my dad clocked him so hard. And, and so my my dad was like, do you want to press charges against, against me for you yelling at my son? And the guy was like, no, sir. And Home Depot was like, and Home Depot was like, uh, we have to file a police report. My dad's like, that's fine. Go ahead. And the guy was like, no, 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 we're good. We don't need to file a police report. We, we're, we're fine. Like, I'm just going to take my... And he took his stuff and left. And what they didn't the even fuck? get his name or anything. And uh, since then, I, uh, that as crazy as that story was, it helped me so much at Best Buy whenever a mad customer would come in because I just knew how to listen. I knew, like, I tried to identify more of, like, why they'd be so mad over the fact that some kid was just trying to buy a box of screws. And uh, I just got a bunch of customers who'd yell at me like that, and I just was able to be like, this is stupid. I just would, I learned, I learned to take it, essentially. Um, because I know that, like, it's, people just get mad. Like, the minute my dad hit that guy, the guy calmed down and was like, fine. Like, it just was like a moment of, of being upset. Uh, That's crazy. Yeah. That is, a, that is an insane tale. Yeah. The best part is you guys haven't seen my dad's hands. <laughs> They're like books. <laughs> They're huge, dude. They're huge. They're like paperback books. My dad, my dad is scary, man. I can read his hands at the beach. Uh, you, you know how we're always like, just look at your hands and how old you are? Yeah. My dad looks at my hands and like grins. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's, that's how scary his hands are. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, dude. 
Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I was really hungry. I wanted tacos one night. I went to the liquor store outside my house. I was home alone. <laughs> I thought this was going to be the Jack in the Box story again. No, no. That, that story <laughs> lives on one place, and it's, that's where it is. Uh, the, uh, I, I wanted to make tacos. I went and just bought stuff at the Liquor Mart thing across the street. I never go. I usually go to 7-Eleven because 7-Eleven's open later. And usually when I have the Jones to go out and get a Arizona or something, it's like later than that. So I'm usually at 7-Eleven. But this time I wanted like slight groceries and that other one has like more of a bodega vibe. Mm -hmm. So I went there and I got the stuff and I made myself a delicious little meal and it was good. And then I slowly realized that everything that I had purchased had been expired for at least oh. 18 months. Oh, oh And no. I was just, it was like... Like oh. every single thing that I had, like the, the the newest thing was 18 months old. Wow! And you went where? Where'd you buy that? It was like the bodega, like at my uh, like on my street. <laughs> oh, Were you able to get your your money back or anything like that? No, I I mean I'm no, not. No, it's a bodega. Yeah, it's like I don't know, like it's I don't know. That's the rules of the road uh, at that place. But I just I could have done a better job of looking, you know. But I I didn't and. Uh, you know, whatever. Like the hot sauce was like I think two and a half years old. Oh, oh my God. God. bummer. Yeah, and the can of chicken was 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 uh, eighteen months old. <sighs> oh, 18, uh, can, can of chicken in eighteen months is never a thing I want to hear in the same sentence. Yeah, I never even want to hear can of chicken. It was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I look, I, I did no, it I, for I, ten I'm not bucks. I'm not judging. I'm with you. I'm just saying it was it was really really disappointing and really like I've never felt more like I had diarrhea like uh, for like a couple wait, hours. Wait 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 wait! You actually ate shit? I, I ate it and then noticed. Oh. oh! I ate it all. I was like, I did it so good. I'm so resourceful. I'm like really great. And then I was throwing the stuff away and I noticed that I just like made myself this like cursed meal. And then I, I had diarrhea. What was, yeah, what did you eat? What was it? It was tacos. I just made like a little spicy chicken stew and put it in the top and like in like corn tortillas. I'll say it was spicy. You fucked up. Yeah, it was like real spicy, so I couldn't tell. Oh. <laughs> it was so spicy. You're like, mmm, delicious. That's why spicy exists. <laughs> I like I got tricked by like human evolution right there. <laughs> You know, back in the day, you know, you put spice on there because you're like, oh, I'm eating, like, just definitely rotten meat that I have out. You know? <laughs> That's why people were dying when they were 40 years old back in the day. <laughs> eating rotten meat and hot sauce all the time. Have you seen my dad's hands, though? <laughs> They're like books, dude. Paperbacks. They're like 18-month-old cans of chicken. <laughs> They're like fucking, uh... They're like fucking uh, cheesy airport, air, airport romance novels, dude. <laughs> Incredible. It's like the Da Vinci Code. Uh, what, what about you? I don't know if I ever had like a terrible time at a supermarket, but I remember one time when I was very little, maybe like, maybe like seven, I uh, my cousin was hanging out with us, which was, you know, somewhat rare. And we had like, I think we had gone to the supermarket with my aunt or something, because it was that time. And uh, I remember I like... I never had money in those days because, you know, you're a little kid. So when you have money, you're like, you feel. Yeah, you're incredible. like richy rich. Yeah. 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 You're like, I could buy you that. I could yeah. buy that. And I and I must have had like 10 bucks. That's it. Right? right. I remember wanting to fuck with my cousin a little bit. And I had the bright idea. There was another little kid in the supermarket. So if we're seven, this kid must have been like five. Right. Which isn't that much. But when you're a kid, those years are stratified for some reason. Right. Yeah. Like, when you're a seven-year-old, you look at a six-year-old like, <laughs> my my boy. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, so I remember he was doing the same thing we were doing, uh, which was like your parent or whomever brought you to the supermarket, and they let you loose. And, you know, when it's time to go, you'll reconvene with them. But for now, like, we're all very much into What a place right? to be free. Right. Uh, and it wasn't like we were little hellions. Like, we knew how to behave ourselves. I don't know about that little kid, but it's not like she was like, all right, go play. It was like, I, it was more like a, can I go look at the books, please? And it's like, yeah. yes, but be back, you know? So I saw this little kid, and I had the opportunity, and I remember being like, hey, uh, do you want to make a dollar? Wow. And he's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. 
And I'm like, you see that guy over there? And I pointed at my cousin. He couldn't see us talking, right? Yeah. My, my cousin John was distracted. I was like, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go up to him and just say, hi, John. You know, just kind of blow his mind a little yeah. bit, right? Which is a very stupid thing to spend a dollar on. It's funny. Yeah. I would do it today. So then he did it. Uh, and my cousin was like, what? And, and, uh, and a good time was had by all. Then I remember we were in the checkout line. And we were just about to leave. And the little kid comes up to us. To me. He, I think he literally tapped me on the shoulder. And I turn around, it's a little kid. I'm like, oh, our business was... I didn't say this out loud, but in my head, I'm like, our business was concluded. Like, I never want to talk to you again, little man. Right. Uh, why are you here in my face? <laughs> we're over. <laughs> you, you, we don't, I don't want to talk to you, kid. What's up? This is right. supposed to be a clean break. Yeah. You're right. This is it. I washed my hands. Very, very you got a transaction. It was a transactional process. Yeah. Right. It's over. Yeah. yeah. And he hands me the dollar back. And I remember being so confused. And then I looked up and I saw, like, in my head, you know, I don't really remember, but like what I remember now is like his mom, arms crossed, looking at him, scolding him. Oh wow! What? Yeah, M- mom got involved. Right. Mom did not like the joke. Did not like the. Did not. She like was like, "Don't take a dollar from your peer." That's a good fucking advice. Like, don't take a dollar from strangers and don't talk to strangers in the supermarket when you're five years old. I guess mm. that's true. It's good advice. But I remember as a kid, I was like, I kind of had your attitude about it. I was like, in my head, I would never say this out loud. I was like, jeez, calm down, mom, what a lady, you know? <laughs> I mean, if, if you were like 17, I would be pissed. You know what I mean? But if you're seven mm-hmm. and he's five, I'm like, kids be kids. Yeah. It's understandable, though. Like, it's not like she didn't know what the fuck was going on. Like, let's let, let's be honest. Well, I get it. I get it. what probably went down. She, he, This kid probably couldn't wait to tell somebody that he got a dollar. Right? Yeah, right. So, like a dummy. And was like, I got it. Da, da. And she's like, whoa, 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 where'd you get that? And like a dummy, he was probably like, well, <laughs> this boy told guy. me to tell a man a weird word and then he gave it to me. Right. Like I touched a man and, the man, and I talked to the man and that was it. And, yeah. and she was like, what? And, you know, so I get it. Yeah, but at the I, time, I, I, I remember I, being like, that was weird and also unnecessary. I'm pretty much know? fine with a mom being mad about her kid for any reason you know I don't I'm not trying to get involved but Mm. if I was that kid I would be like that was my full on attitude it was like like what a fucking weird mom (laughs) yeah like your kid could have had a dollar lady yeah (laughs) you're lost you're lost especially because I already got what I wanted that's what I'm saying it's done the deed is done do you think that kid somewhere still remembers that maybe you did Yeah, I did. What about John? Unfortunately, John became that member of the family who like is like like disappears for years at a time, and yeah. like when they come back, they're like, I would say the last time I hung out with John, John was like, "Hey, man, uh, I really want to get together and like hang out a bit. We should go see a movie." And we went to go see the Justice League movie at the Crenshaw Mall. Hell yeah. Uh, and I remember being like, "Oh man, I don't want any part of this." God, but, like, I hate that. I'm not gonna, like, I like, I'm not gonna turn him away. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to want to hang out with him that much. Right. <laughs> family, family. You got to do it every once in a while. Right. We're and, all like, men. I love the guy. I love the guy. It's just that, like, we, we, you know, like I hadn't seen him for like ten years at that point. So it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard to reconnect with somebody like that. Um, I get it. But yeah, we watched Justice League, and then you know, I haven't seen him in a long time. I hope he's all right, dude. I hope he's all right. Yeah, it's a weird time. I'll tell you who's not all right is that kid. That kid? He's, he he, he's probably he paranoid. I'd <laughs> <laughs> never trust anybody I'd love ever to again. know where that kid ended up, man. I'd love to know. Somebody's going to be like, I was that kid. Please interview me on Super Beard Bros. Remember from that episode, <laughs> I was the kid. Please interview me on that Super Beard Bros. That would be incredible. <laughs> Shit, maybe my cousin's watching. I would love to interview him, too. Uh, we're going to play a little bit more Tony Hawk next time. More questions from you guys. Yeah, thank Some you, more guys. more comfort games. Next this time has been a vibe. Games. I don't even know if we need the music. This is a good zone. 
<laughs> this reminds like me of where I live. Skating. I miss Venice Beach, man. That's like mm -hmm. right by my house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Yeah. See you guys you next humming? time. Wait, what are you humming? Goldfinger. Oh, sure, sure, sure. It's like the Tony Hawk theme song. Yeah, sure. absolutely. Though, so guys... is it really Rage Against the Machine? That's for the second game. Oh, the yeah, second game, right. yeah. Okay. All right, see you guys later. Hi. Once again, bearded men have reached the end. Well, I don't know what comes next. All I know is you made it this far. This is your end time. Next episode, hope you enjoy the show. S U P E R. Be it, bros. <laughs>